Hey there everyone, it's Ms. Bell here again in the science lab. And for this experiment, we are going to see a very simple demonstration of rain falling from clouds. Now for this experiment, you're going to need a few items, and here they are. One is you're going to need some sort of clear, um, either plastic or glass container for the very bottom for the water to collect in. And then you're going to need a cup, a plastic cup for the top. Now this plastic needs to be thin enough to where you can push holes through it using a push pin and it needs to be able to sit nicely in or on the top of your bottom container. You do not want this to go all the way down to the bottom. You don't want it to be touching the bottom. So make sure it sits nicely and it's thin enough to where you can poke a hole through it. By doing so, you're going to grab um, a push pin like this. We use them in bulletin boards, you see sometimes, and you're carefully either going to have an adult, your parent, or a family member um, help you, or you can do it yourself. You're going to push it through just like that. Watch out for your fingers that are holding the cup. Make sure you don't pierce your skin. We don't want any injuries or accidents happening. You're also going to need cotton balls. Um, doesn't really matter the size. You're going to need some water. Here I just have a jug of water from the tap. It doesn't have to be cold or um, hot or warm, just kind of room temperature. And if you want, you can use your hand or you can get some sort of object like I have here, a styrofoam um, little platter that's flat on one side. And I'm going to be using this to press on the very top with my the pressure and the weight from my hands and we're going to kind of go a step further with this experiment and kind of play around with air pressure and see if that um, changes how the experiment works or how it looks so here we go so here I have my plastic cup that's going to act as my base and all of my water is going to collect at the bottom then I have my cup that has all of the holes poked through it. I'm going to place that on top. And I want to make sure, again, it's not touching the bottom and there's a snug, snug fit. Then I have all my cotton balls. And I'm going to put my cotton balls inside that top cup. Now remember, the cotton represents our clouds that we can find up high, high in the sky in our atmosphere. Then I have my jug of water. And I'm going to carefully and slowly pour the water into the cotton balls. I don't want to do it too fast because the cotton will just soak it up way too quickly. I want to take my time and pour it in kind of all over. And I want to see how long it takes for my cotton to... how long it takes my cotton to absorb, kind of like the clouds up in the sky, how long does it take for them to absorb all that moisture up in the sky until finally it gets too heavy and then it starts to rain. The clouds up in the sky can't hold any more moisture and so it then has the water fall from the sky to the ground and that's how we get rain. Okay, As you can see, the water that's falling, that represents rain. Okay, Down here at the very bottom, that's all of the rain that comes from the sky and gathers on the ground on our planet. So we get water in the ocean, it can fall in the lakes, it can fall in your grass in your front or backyard, it can fall into streams, um, but this is all the water that collects on our planet. Now I'm going to pour a little bit more 
and we're going to play around with air pressure. Okay, so it's it's raining, 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 raining. Now I'm going to place this on top and press. As you can see, the water for the most part has stopped because the weight of this um, styrofoam tray and the weight from my hand on top has stopped the air being able to flow in and out. Now I'm going to let go and the rain's going to continue. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to press down. Look at that little water droplet right there, right in the middle. It's wanting so badly to fall. Gravity is holding on to that, trying to pull it down. But because I stopped the airflow, it's not being allowed to fall. But here I go, I'm gonna lift it up and it's able to fall down. I'm gonna do it one more time. So I'm pressing down on my little plate and then I'm lifting up. 